Hello, it's Dr. Abstract from Zim at ZimJS.com. And we've just done a video about how you can edit and view Zim locally in VS Code in a browser. And that's how we usually develop. So we'll put that a link to that video down below and you can check that out if you want to run Zim locally. Um, and I had an idea. Sometimes people want to run Zim completely offline. So say you want to do an art project and you don't have internet in the gallery or something like that. You can certainly do that. So let me show you how that can be done. Um, we go to the code section at zimjs.com and then go to code. Here's the normal template and the normal template runs calls a module and that module actually calls other modules. So it's not the easiest way to run offline. It can be done, but um, probably an easier way is let's go to the older template where we see the two script tags being brought in. So I'm going to hit copy on the older template and we'll reduce our browser down and go to VS Code. Ah, so here's yeah, VS Code where we were demonstrating a local template and running locally. We are going to make a new file here called offline.html. And I've used this technique to um, do light shows at clubs and stuff like that where I don't want to fool around with uh, internet, etc. And so we can just run offline. So I'm going to paste the template into offline.html and save that up. Uh, it, and I'll right click here and say open in default browser and indeed there's the template offline running in a, in a local local browser. Uh, by the way, I installed an extension to, to be able to do that, or you can just open the file locally. You should know how to do that or see that other video where we talk about all that stuff. But the problem is this is not offline, these guys. So what we want to do is go grab these files. We'll grab the create.js one first. This is assuming that you're <laughs> online at some point. So there it is. That's the create.js minified file. And I'm going to right click and say save as. And we're going to save it in our test eight. So as create.js, save. Okay. And then I'm going to go grab the zim, just right here. Copy the zim, paste it into a browser. Right click, save page as. And there's create.js, and now here's the zim min. So both those have been saved locally now. Uh, we can see them in here probably. Yep, there's create.js right here, and there's zim. If you wanted to, you could have put that in a scripts folder or something like that, but we've just put them in the same folder as offline, that being test eight. Then you don't need to go get them here. You just call create.js and zim, like so. So we save that. Let's change the color of that to red. So now we have a red circle and I come back here and I refresh and there's the red circle. Now this is running completely offline, all from local files. All right. And you don't need to worry about the internet and you can make your art and present, you know, uh, project it onto bands or what have you without connecting to the internet. Yay! So I'm Dr. Abstract here at Zim. I thought that you may have wanted to check that out. Cheers. Have a great day or night. And you're welcome to come visit us at zimjs.com slash discord, uh, forum.zimjs.com, or actually zimjs.com slash forum. We'll also get you there. So uh, come visit us at the forum. Say hi. Love to hear from you. Cheers.